Let us discuss this example. In this example, we have a function d, which is defined on set of natural numbers. So it is defined in this way. d of mn is equal to 0 if m and n both of them are same. And it is equal to 1 plus 1 upon m plus n if m and n are different. So we have to prove that this function d is a metric on n. That means we have to prove that this function d should satisfy all four conditions of a metric. Okay, so let us start to prove. So uh, we will we are discussing the first one. For first condition, we need to take two elements. So for m comma n belongs to set of natural number. We have to simply prove that d of m comma n is greater than or equal to zero. That means it is non-negative. Let us discuss the case one. Okay, so case one is m is equal to n. So therefore, d of m comma n is equal to zero. Since as you can see here, if m and n both of them are same, value of d of m n is zero. Let us discuss the second case. Case number two is m is not equal to n. So we are discussing this case. Let us see what will happen. See uh, here m and n basically these are two natural numbers since you know that natural numbers 1 2 3 4 5 and so on so these are non-negative okay or we can say these are positive so therefore what can we say therefore m is greater than 0 n is also greater than 0 both of them are positive if you add two positive real numbers again you will have positive real numbers so m plus n is also greater than 0 let us take reciprocal so if you take reciprocal of any positive number, you will have 101% positive number. Let us continue. What will I do now? I will add 1 in left hand side. So what will happen? 1 plus positive number, that means again we will have positive number. See, but this is nothing but d of mn. Since you know that in second case, m and n, both of them are different. So this is definition of d of mn. So I should mention here implies d of m comma n greater than 0. In first case, we got d of m n is equal to 0. And in second case, we are getting d of m n is greater than 0. That means from both cases, we can say d of m n is either 0 or greater than 0. So we can write d of m n is greater than or equal to 0. Let me write from both the cases, from both the cases, what we get d of m n is greater than or equal to 0 for all mn belongs to set of natural numbers getting so in this way we proved that d satisfies the first property let us discuss the second property but before that make a screenshot of it see the second condition is d of mn is equal to 0 if and only if m is equal to n okay so i'm considering m and n be natural numbers so here also we will discuss two cases m is equal to n and the second case is m is not equal to n. Let us discuss the first case, case number one, okay. m is equal to n. See if m is equal to n, definition says d of m n is equal to zero. So implies I should write d of m n is equal to zero. I should mention by definition, right. Let us discuss the second case. Okay, second case. Second case is m is not equal to n. If m is not equal to n, what we get? D of m n. Definition says if m is not equal to n, its value is 1 plus 1 upon m plus n. See, actually 1 upon m plus n is a positive real number. We are adding positive real number in 1. That means 100% it is greater than 1. So therefore, d of mn is greater than 1. That means d of mn is greater than, sorry, I should write here greater than 1. That means d of mn is not equal to 0. So what we get, if m is equal to n, we are getting d of mn is 0. And if m is not equal to n, we are getting d of mn is not equal to 0. That means d of mn is 0 if and only if m is equal to n. So let's, uh, I should mention here, so therefore, from both the cases, from both the cases, we can write d of mn is equal to 0 if and only if m is equal to n. In this way, we proved the second condition. We will go for third condition, make a screenshot of it first. So let us prove third condition. 
So the third condition is d of m n is equal to d of n m. So I am taking two elements here m and n both are natural numbers. So here also I will discuss two cases. Case number one. Okay, so case first m is equal to n. See if m is equal to n, we can easily write. So therefore d of m comma n is equal to zero by definition, right? And d of n comma m that is also equal to zero since if you, if i say m is equal to n that is nothing but n is also equal to n so that's why d of n mn is zero as well as d of nm is also zero so that means both of them are zero so we can say both of them are equal also since both of them are zero so therefore d of mn is equal to d of nm right so for this case we proved yes d of nm is equal to d of mn let us go for the second case now so obviously what is our second case tell me the second case is m is not equal to n okay see if m is not equal to n d of uh, let uh, i should write here d of m comma n is equal to 1 plus 1 upon m plus n if m is not equal to n i should follow the second definition and the second definition says d of m n is equal to this one and d of n m let us write d of n m if m is not equal to n that means n is also not equal to m getting so therefore for d of n m also i should follow the second definition that means 1 plus 1 upon n plus m getting here i should write n plus m i wrote here m plus n here the first element is n second is m so that's why i should write in this way right let us go further then then i'm starting with d of m n whose definition already I have written here. Let me copy the same 1 plus 1 upon m plus n. So you know that a plus b is same as b plus a. So that's why you can easily interchange them. So 1 plus 1 upon n plus m. Okay. So in algebra, we call it as commutative. Addition is commutative. So that's why we can easily interchange. So this is equal to. See, this is nothing but d of n m right same thing we have got here so let me write here this is equal to d of n comma m we started with d of m n we got d of n m that means both of them are same getting in first case already we have proved here d of n m and d of m n are same and here also we are proving the same so therefore from both the cases we can conclude d of n m is equal to d of m n okay for all n m belongs to set of natural number so therefore from both the cases we get we get we get d of m n is equal to d of n m for all n comma m belongs to set of natural number right in this way we prove the third condition now simply we have to prove the last condition make a screenshot of it then we will go further let us discuss the fourth condition okay so the fourth condition we call it as a triangle inequality for triangle inequality we require three elements let us take three elements here let m comma n comma p belongs to set of natural number okay see as you have seen already in previous conditions we took two conditions but see now we have three elements so there will be more conditions more cases okay so yeah let us discuss all these cases one by one right now i also don't know how many cases will be there let us start okay so case one so case one is obviously all these three elements are equal let us see what will happen case one m is equal to n is equal to p all of them are same so therefore d of m n is equal to zero these are same d of m p that is also same getting and d of n p that is also zero since all of them are equal getting and definition says if elements are same value is zero so i got zero 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 so therefore we can write d of m p is equal to zero already we have got so zero is equal to zero plus zero the first zero i am replacing it by d of m n and second zero i am replacing it by d of n p right so in this way we proved d of m p okay first and last is equal to d of m n plus d of np getting so in this way we proved both that equality we get there actually in triangle inequality we should have less than or equal to but equality is also okay okay we can accept it so it satisfies the fourth condition for this case let us go for the next case 
कैन यू गेस अवर नेक्स्ट केस यस इट्स वेरी इजी केस नंबर टू ओके सो सेकंड केस इज एम इज इक्वल टू एन बट विच इज नॉट इक्वल टू पी ओके फर्स्ट टू आर सेम बट द थर्ड वन इज डिफरेंट लेट सी वॉट विल हैपन सो आई एम स्टार्टिंग विथ डी ऑफ एम पी सी एम एंड पी आर ऑल्सो डिफरेंट फर्स्ट टू आर सेम द थर्ड वन इज डिफरेंट पी इज डिफरेंट सो दैट्स आई शुड फॉलो द सेकेंड डेफिनेशन वन प्लस वन अपॉन एम प्लस पी इफ आई एड जीरो डजेंट मैटर इफ यू एड जीरो यू विल हैव द सेम नंबर राइट सो जीरो प्लस वन प्लस वन अपॉन एम प्लस पी ओके सो जीरो कैन वी से दिस इज एम एन सो डी ऑफ सॉरी डी ऑफ एम एन गेटिंग ना सो दिस इज जीरो नो सिंस एम एंड एन आर सेम सो दैट्स वे वैल्यू विल बी जीरो सो दिस जीरो कैन बी रिप्लेस बाय दिस वन प्लस वन प्लस वन अपॉन एन प्लस पी आई एम रिप्लेसिंग एम प्लस पी बाय एन प्लस पी बिकॉज एम एंड एन आर सेम सो इफ यू एड एम और इफ यू एड एन डजन मैटर यू विल हैव सेम सो दिस इज इक्वल टू डी ऑफ एम पी एम एन प्लस डी ऑफ दिस इज नथिंग बट डी ऑफ एन पी सिंस एन एंड पी आर डिफरेंट नो सो आई शूड फॉलो द सेकेंड डेफिनेशन फॉर दैट एंड आई गॉट दिस वन सो दैट मीन्स देयर फोर वी कैन रेट राइट डी ऑफ एम एन यस डी ऑफ एम पी आई शूड राइट डी ऑफ एम पी इज इक्वल टू डी ऑफ एम एन प्लस डी ऑफ एन पी लाइक दिस वन गेटिंग हियर ऑल्सो इन सेकेंड केस ऑल्सो वी हैव गॉट इक्वैलिटी लेट इज गो फॉर द थर्ड केस कैन यू गेस वॉट विल बी अवर थर्ड केस केस नंबर थ्री केस नंबर थ्री विल बी फर्स्ट टू आर डिफरेंट बट द लास्ट वन इज सेम एज द मिडल वन गेटिंग दैट मीन्स एम इज नॉट इक्वल टू एन बट एन इज इक्वल टू पी लेट एस सी वॉट विल हैपन ऑलवेज वी स्टार्ट विथ लेफ्ट हैंड साइड वॉट इज अवर लेफ्ट हैंड साइड डी ऑफ एम पी ओके डी ऑफ एम पी सो दिस इज इक्वल टू सी एम एंड पी दीज आर डिफरेंट गेटिंग एम एंड पी आर डिफरेंट दिस दिस टू आर सेम बट द फर्स्ट वन इज डिफरेंट सो दैट्स वाई आई शुड फॉलो द सेकेंड डेफिनेशन वन प्लस वन अपॉन एम प्लस पी राइट सो इज इक्वल टू इफ आई एड जीरो डजेंट मैटर इफ यू एड जीरो इन एनी नंबर यू विल हैव द सेम नंबर सो वन प्लस वन अपॉन एम प्लस पी प्लस जीरो सो दिस इज इक्वल टू वन प्लस वन अपॉन एम प्लस एन कैन आई राइट कैन आई रिप्लेस पी बाय एन नो प्रॉब्लम सिंस पी एंड एन बोथ ऑफ देम आर सेम सो यू कैन रिप्लेस पी बाय एन आई एम डूइंग द सेम प्लस आई एम रिप्लेसिंग जीरो बाय एन पी सिंस एन एंड पी आर सेम नो सो दे विल फॉलो एम एन एंड पी आर सेम सो जीरो कैन बी रिप्लेस बाय डी ऑफ एन पी सिंस इट हैज वैल्यू जीरो सिंस एन एंड पी आर सेम सो फर्स्ट वन इज नथिंग बट डी ऑफ एम एन प्लस सेकेंड वन इज नथिंग बट डी ऑफ एन पी सी एम एंड एन आर डिफरेंट नो एम एन एन आर डिफरेंट सो इट शुड फॉलो द फर्स्ट डेफिनेशन सेकेंड डेफिनेशन सो वन प्लस वन अपॉन एम प्लस एन दैट इज नथिंग बट डी ऑफ एम एन सो वॉट वी गेट हियर डी ऑफ एम पी इज इक्वल टू दैट मीन्स इन थर्ड केस ऑल्सो वी हैव गॉट इक्वैलिटी इन फर्स्ट केस वी गॉट इक्वैलिटी सेकेंड ऑल्सो थर्ड ऑल्सो लेट एस डिस्कस द रिमेनिंग केसेस बट वॉट विल बी द रिमेनिंग केसेस ऑब्वियसली सी वॉट वी हैड अज्यूम फर्स्ट ऑल थ्री आर सेम नेक्स्ट लास्ट वन इज डिफरेंट नेक्स्ट फर्स्ट वन इज डिफरेंट नाउ वी विल कंसिडर द मिडल वन इज डिफरेंट दैट एन विल बी डिफरेंट एन विल बी अदर दैन एम एंड डी पी गेटिंग ना द फर्स्ट एंड लास्ट विल बी सेम बट द मिडल वन इज डिफरेंट एंड द लास्ट केस विल बी ऑल थ्री नंबर्स विल बी डिस्टिंक्ट गेटिंग सो लेट इज डिस्कस टू मोर केसेस बट बिफोर दैट आई सजेस्ट यू टू मेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट ऑफ इट सो लेट इज डिस्कस द फोर्थ केस द फोर्थ केस इज एम इज इक्वल टू पी इज नॉट इक्वल टू एन so the middle number that is n i have taken uh, as the last number getting and which is different from first and last first number is m last number is p getting middle number is n but i have written in this way so let us find what will happen here so d of mp so always we start with left hand side d of mp but see d of mp both of them are same so that's why i should follow the first definition and first definition says its value is zero which is obviously less than or equal to d of mn plus d of np getting so always we know that uh, this is distance okay d so already we have proved this d satisfy the first condition so that's why we can say d 0 is less than or equal to d of mn as well as 0 is less than or equal to d of np getting both of them are non negative numbers so that's why we can say or we can say uh, more we can say this is strictly less than 
since this is positive real number getting since I should follow the second definition. So obviously we will have this relation. Let us go further. Case number five. So what is the fifth case? Fifth case is obviously m is not equal to n, which is not equal to p. All them are distinct. So that means I should follow the second definition only. We cannot go for the first definition since here we are not having equality anymore. So therefore, I'm starting with left hand side again. D of m uh, p is equal to 1 plus 1 upon m plus p. Getting I should follow the second definition. See, this is less than 1 plus 1. See, 1 upon something is obviously less than 1. If you want a reason, I can write here. Since m comma p, these are natural numbers greater than 1, right? So if you add m plus p is again greater than 1. If you take reciprocal 1 upon m plus p is less than 1. Okay, so this is the reason behind that. So that's why first one, this term we can replace by 1 and we are having this inequality less than let us go further so this is less than 1 plus 1 upon m plus n see we are adding something getting here also plus 1 plus 1 upon n plus p that means i have added this term in our first one and i have added this term in our second one we are adding something so 101 percent value will get increased okay so we are adding some positive real number so that's why value will get increased but see this is nothing but d of mn and that is nothing but d of np as i told you earlier see these numbers are distinct so obviously we have to follow second definition only so i followed the second definition i got this one so therefore what we get d of mp is less than d of mn plus d of np right so here also we get strictly inequality. So let us combine all these cases. What we have got in first three cases, we had got equality equal to zero. And in remaining two cases, we are having strictly inequality. So let us combine. So therefore, from all five cases, we get, we get, what we get, D of MP is less than or equal to D of MN plus D of n p and this is true for all m n p belongs to set of natural number so therefore d satisfies all four conditions so we can declare d is a matrix so i have mentioned it there yes d satisfies all four conditions therefore d is matrix on n thank you bye bye